Module 3. Parliamentary Oversight and Holding Governments Accountable What is accountability for health emergency preparedness and health security? Accountability is taking responsibility or being held responsible for something that you have done or something that you are supposed to do. Governments have many responsibilities, functions and legal obligations related to health emergency preparedness and health security and are therefore accountable for them. These may include implementing any domestic statutory obligations possibly found in the Constitution about the right to health or access to health care, fully implementing the IHR domestically under the country's international law obligation, ensuring that an appropriate national health emergency preparedness plan exists, is adequately costed and resourced, and is put in place with a clear line of authority at all stages of escalation. Ensuring adequate day-to-day -day health risk management capability, such as surveillance, track and trace capacities, and the capacity to manage small community-based health risks to prevent them from evolving into national or global emergencies. Implementing policies and plans for health emergency preparedness. Ensuring that the architecture to support a multi-hazard response to a health emergency exists, may be deployed across all sectors and government levels, and includes a multi-sectoral mechanism. Ensuring that preparedness is regularly reviewed, including after any major health emergency, to ensure lessons learnt are identified and used to inform potential changes to policies, laws, administrative arrangements, standard operating procedures or SOPs, and so on. Ensuring that any and all requirements to implement policies and laws supporting preparedness are fully costed, that all one-off and recurrent expenses are funded via the budget, and that some reserve capacity exists to fund a response to unexpected health emergencies. During a health emergency, it is more important to optimise Parliament's oversight function. A democratic deficit could result from a lack of parliamentary oversight and scrutiny of government action, budgets, legislative measures and accountability. One important oversight and accountability function concerns the budget process and budget implementation. Finance and budget committees and public accounts committees play a particularly important role in budget and expenditure oversight. How do parliaments and parliamentarians oversee health emergency preparedness and health security? Any and all of the following activities may be developed to support oversight of government responsibility and ensure governments are accountable for their legal obligations in relation to health emergency preparedness and health security. The following activities may directly concern health emergency preparedness or touch on related matters such as health system strengthening or resilience, telehealth, private sector engagement in the health system, employment effects of emergency health measures, etc. These activities may include Parliamentary inquiries in plenary sessions, which directly or indirectly concern issues related to health emergency preparedness. Parliamentary inquiries via special session or committee, both before the budget is passed, to consider planning priorities and allocation, and afterwards, for audit and implementation oversight. These inquiries may directly or indirectly concern health emergency preparedness or budget priorities that present an opportunity to raise health emergency preparedness as a priority. Parliamentary consideration of draft legislation, whether in committees or in plenary parliamentary sessions. Parliamentary accounts committees and finance and budget committees to examine expenditures and oversee the budget including in relation to allocating sufficient resources for emergency preparedness and health security. See also budget approval and oversight. Encouraging the creation of and participation in high-level coordinating bodies, whether they are formal parliamentary committees or not. 
Such bodies were found to be critical to a country's ability to adapt to changing information during COVID-19, posing questions in Parliament, whether planned, asked during question time or equivalent, written or oral, raising considerations and comments in Parliament and committee settings. Advocating and drawing attention to governmental performance in emergency preparedness through less formal channels, including speeches, the use of both traditional and social media, and public comments or advocacy surrounding policy and legislative proposals, involving civil society or the private sector through committee appearances or solicited opinions on legislative proposals, so that they may contribute to discussion and debate on emergency preparedness or matters relevant to it. Engaging communities can in particular help parliamentarians ensure human rights and gender considerations are taken into account in health emergency preparedness and response. Inquiries into the extent to which health emergency preparedness takes into account the differentiated impact of emergencies on men and women and their impact on vulnerable groups. Does my country have a national emergency preparedness plan and what is its implementation status? When did the last review of my country's health emergency preparedness take place? How are the identified gaps being addressed? Do the preparedness plans, national action plans for health security and budget include reserve capacity to fund a response to an unexpected health emergency? What arrangements does my parliament have that enable it to discharge its statutory functions during a national health emergency? Does my parliament have an existing parliamentary committee that might be immediately convened to provide parliament with advice for swift action in the event of a national emergency? What arrangements exist for finance and public accounts committees to meet and scrutinise emergency fund allocations? And are these meeting arrangements flexible in the event face-to-face -face meetings cannot be held? Some options for parliamentary action are It may convene a parliamentary committee to examine how previous health emergencies such as Ebola, SARS, MERS and COVID-19 were handled. Lessons may be learnt that may then be incorporated into health emergency preparedness well ahead of any new emergency. The composition of such a committee should be inclusive, including in terms of gender and political representation. Questions may be asked of the competent minister or ministers or competent authorities in the area of emergency preparedness and planning and implementation of the IHR to gain clarity and ensure accountability. Parliament could link and target budgeting for preparedness and IHR, capacity strengthening under the national health budget. A finance or public accounts committee may examine budgetary measures and ensure a balance between, on the one hand, financial mechanisms to enable a swift response to an emergency backed by the necessary resources, and on the other hand, oversight to ensure funds are spent wisely and with the highest level of probity. A finance or emergency preparedness committee could seek public input into decision making, including in terms of budget allocation to identify vulnerable groups in emergency responses and ensure that they receive the support that they need. This input could be solicited from civil society, business groups, academics and specialist policy groups. Parliament could require pre-budget consultations with the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Health on budget allocations for emergency preparedness and proposals and plans for implementation. Parliament could require quarterly statements from the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Health on budget execution in the area of emergency preparedness. Parliament may also examine its own rules as part of preparedness to ensure that, in the event of a health emergency, it can continue to exercise its oversight function. As part of preparedness, flexible rules need to be established and implemented well ahead of a health risk response. Such rules should make sure inclusive decision-making processes are implemented during a health emergency. Parliament could review standing orders to ensure maximum flexibility and to benefit from lessons learned during various health emergencies that prevented face-to-face -face meetings. These may include, when certain criteria are met, exploring the use of technology for Parliament and parliamentary committees to meet remotely.
flexible working solutions, changing physical meeting arrangements, establishing or adding to the terms of reference of an existing multi-sectoral committee of parliament that includes health and other expertise such as finance, agriculture, planning and police. It should also monitor risks and be quickly convened to advise parliament in the event that a national health risk emerges. The committee should be allowed to expand its membership and bring in additional expertise, depending on the nature of the emergency. Parliament and parliamentarians must model responsible behaviour and demonstrate leadership. For example, during COVID-19, this has meant wearing face masks, practising social distancing, using hand sanitizer, and other methods. Let's recap what we have learned. Accountability is taking responsibility or being held responsible for something that you have done or something that you are supposed to do. Governments have many responsibilities, functions and legal obligations related to health emergency preparedness and health security and should be held accountable for them. Parliaments provide oversight to ensure that their governments fulfil their responsibilities. Oversight actions vary greatly between countries. These activities may be deployed to support oversight of government responsibilities and ensure governments are accountable for their legal obligations in relation to health emergency preparedness and health security. Here is a question you can ponder over. Which are the most important actions parliamentarians can take to provide government oversight.